Hey, this is Kai. It's Saturday once again. And I'm going to be talking about my experience in education as a trans person. And also I'm going to make some book recommendations at the end. So, I was I really expressed my masculinity when I was in elementary school, like major, 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 mucho, 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 because uh, I felt really comfortable. I hate that. <laughs> I felt really comfortable doing so, and um, it really didn't get me very far. Like other children harassed me, they called me an it, they picked on me, they bullied me, <laughs> they beat me up, uh, especially the boys. The girls were like a little nicer, but I was like constantly afraid of other little boys because they were like, they treated me like crap, honestly. Like, I would say that my trauma with cis men has like a huge track, it's just a huge track record. Like, <laughs> um, not to like say anything, you know, against cis men, but it has, they've given me a lot, a lot of trouble. So, um, I, became, I got harassed so much that as I got older I started to think that me identifying like in a, in a way that is masculine was not good. And when people began to read me that way I would get really offended because I had all this, all this negative shit attached to it, you know, negative connotations and fear and harassment and all these really bad memories. And as I was moving into adolescence, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on until I hit 18, I really tried to, you know, um, adhere appearance-wise to what a woman is supposed to be and that was really hard on me because I always felt kind of awkward um, but I did it anyways because I feel like I didn't really have a choice and I started to become really offended um, and really afraid of being read as masculine because of all of that like traumatic stuff that happened long before. So skipping ahead to now, recently coming out as trans and not really like caring um, about that kind of harassment stuff, although I still have some like resonating feelings regarding that. Um, I'm in college and I'm having a pretty good experience currently in an educational institution as a trans person. Um, there's a really strong LGBTQI um, center in my school and so if I were harassed I could always go to them and UW, the University of Wisconsin is like no harassment policy when it comes to queer people. So I feel really well protected by my institution. And that's not to say that I'm not like kind of nervous um, around like the, some of the younger cis men that have that quote unquote, you know, asshole bro mentality and have absolutely like no world experience, maturity, um, or, or like tact. Cause I do sometimes get nervous and uh, I'm afraid of confrontations, but Nothing has happened yet, and I'm really happy with that. Uh, I was recently interviewed by my school for a gender spectra conference that they were holding, and so I got to be kind of like a face to some of the trans community at the university, and they played it on like the, the, the Department of Journalism does like a newscast and stuff. I don't know who watches that. It plays on public TV. But it was kind of cool, um, and I felt really respected and um, honored to, to be able to do that. So that's pretty much like where my school experience is regarding being a trans person in educational institutions now. My education experience currently is that I'm in finals week and I feel like a rundown dirty rag <laughs> and I really should be writing a paper right now. And I'm also going through some hormonal problems like I don't know what's going on with my tea and I feel like my levels are like out of whack and I'm going to go see my doctor next week. Um, so I just feel kind of like tired and I'm sleeping a lot and it's just like a bad time so I'm sorry that I look like an ugly mop uh, this is kind of the best that I could do right now as far as book recommendations Leslie Feinberg's Stone Butch Blues quintessential piece of queer literature read it also I read a memoir by a trans man named Max Valerio I think that's how his last name is pronounced and it's called the testosterone files and it is incredible his prose reads like poetry also another good one is invisible monsters and that is by the author of uh, Fight Club so thank you very much and until next week